All right, let's finish up this worksheet with number seven. A certain element exists as three natural isotopes, as shown in the table below. Isotope number one has this particular mass. Isotope number two has this particular mass. Isotope number three has that particular mass. And they have varying abundances, okay? Isotope one is clearly more abundant. Uh, a distant number, th um, number two is isotope three, a little over 9%. And then there's just trace amounts of isotope 2. Trace amounts of isotope 2. Now, I'm being asked to calculate the average atomic mass of this element. Remember, average atomic mass is a weighted average of all of the naturally occurring isotopes. That's why I have naturally occurring isotopes, their masses, and then percent abundance. This is also very similar to a task I ask you to uh, complete on one of your quick writes. Okay, It was one of those fun ones where I didn't actually tell you what to do beforehand. Just hope that you could figure it out on your own using your own tools. But let's go over it. Okay. So all the naturally occurring isotopes have these masses, and I need to weight this average. So I'm going to take into consideration this information. But these numbers are in percentages, 90.51%, 0.27%, 9.22%. Before I use these in calculations, I need to move these into decimal format. So as decimals, it's 0.9051. As a decimal, this is 0 0.0027. As a decimal, this is 0 0.0922. And I'm simply going to multiply each of those terms together. So let's do some crunching here. Pardon my calculator being off the side. 19.99. Oh, I already messed up. You guys didn't want to see that. 19. Point Nine nine two four four times point nine zero five one. Come up with eighteen point zero nine five one zero. One two three four five six seven. One two three four. I need four significant figures, so I should stop about right here. Go eighteen point one zero. Eighteen point one zero for significant figures. Uh, let's go next up, 20.99395 times 0 0.0027. Okay, this one only has two significant figures, so go there. And then 21.99138 times 0 0.0922. Three significant figures. Holy cow, what did I just do here? Mess something up. Oh no, that's right. My bad. Psyched myself out. So, next up, I'm going to add all these terms together. So, 18.10 plus 0 0.057 plus 2.03. Let's see, you guys see that? So I get 20.187. Now how many significant figures should I use? Now I'm adding here, so I have two places past the decimal, three places past the decimal, two places past the decimal. So my answer is gonna be two places past the decimal. So I'm gonna go 20.19. Okay, now I am going to search for a 20.19 element. Let's see. Twenty point one nine. Now, uh, not not atomic number, but average atomic mass. So like 52. That, okay, that's way too big. I want 20.19. Uh, okay, it's still too big. Ten, okay, that's too small. 20, 20 point, neon. 20.18, if I go up to the next one just to double check, that's up to 22.99, uh, almost 23. So this element that I just calculated, uh, the average atomic mass, the weighted average here is neon. Okay, so this is neon. Uh, no, no question on this worksheet asks you to identify that particular element. I'm just throwing out that are fun to show you that this actually is a thing uh, that can help you identify actual elements on the actual periodic table.